While some are protesting the outcome of the presidential race, others are venting their frustration on social media. 13 Action News anchor Christopher King is live at Trump International Hotel as people fight to have their voices heard on the streets and online. Christopher. Yeah, Steve, there have been a lot of people out here in front of the Trump International Hotel venting their frustration, but a lot of other folks are just plain tired of talking about politics altogether, so they're taking a social media timeout. Are you tired of all the talk of politics on social media? I am super tired of it. You're not the only one. I'm just done with Facebook and the political stuff and Twitter and all that. People's posts are getting so toxic on sites like Facebook after a bruising and divisive presidential campaign. Anna Corbello is taking a timeout. I don't even look. Jessica Markowitz says she's seen friends fight online and family members freeze each other out. Blocking each other, I've seen my own family members stop friending each other and not communicating anymore. Terrell Chandler tells us the language is growing downright hostile. Sometimes it comes off as sarcastic, you know, sarcastic remarks, and kind of insulting. I feel like too many people are taking it as like a personal thing. Emily Gerlitas would much rather watch her son play soccer. Putting politics on Facebook is too much like playing social media roulette. Everybody should have their own opinion and they should keep it to themselves. And anti-Trump protesters plan another demonstration starting at the link on Saturday and walking up here to the Trump International Hotel where we are live. Christopher King, 13 Action News.